Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday to us all. If this is your first time joining me, well, welcome, welcome to my channel. This would not be a shock to anyone who has actually tuned into my channel before. I am a big fan of M Cosmetics lip luminizers and you know that I had to pick up the two new shades in Mona Lisa and Van Gogh. And I wanted to jump on here and swatch them, do some comparisons to some of the other previous shades. And at the end of this video, I will also do a comparison in natural light with the shades that I still have. So I only have three of the other existing shades. I have Mystic, Faded Clementine, and Venetian Rose. The shades Angel and Magic Hour I actually gave to my sister because they weren't my ideal shades, but I will include the video that I did where I swatched all five of the original shades and also included swatches of those. So hopefully if you're curious about this product, you could piece those two videos together if you like and um, kind of be able to make an informed decision if you're looking to try out these products. Um, the first shade is Mona Lisa, and I'll just swatch that on the back of my hand. And this collection is all like nudes, nudie colors. There wasn't a real kind of brownie nude in the original collection. So I think this is supposed to kind of fill that gap. Mm. And it has that lovely formula. It is a very melty product. So it has that kind of click mechanism. So you only want to click up to the point where some of the product is exposed because the moment it comes into contact with your lips and the warmth of your lips, it will just immediately melt. It's very melty, but it's very nourishing and it has a high pigment to it. So this is the shade here. This is a neutral, you know, warm, beige i would say a beigey with a bit of brown a bit of a deeper rose but really it is quite neutral and i love it i love having this shade in this formula this was absolutely missing because i would first really put on a color like this it's this is more of my lips but better shade um when i don't want to have any kind of rosiness in my lips and it's just so pretty and it does the best job in like filling in the lip lines, creating a nice cushion, but not feeling too, too thick. I would say that if you're looking for a drugstore comparison of this product, the L'Oreal Shine would probably be the closest to it along with the Milani Fetish lip colors. But the component of this I like a bit better for those type of products because it's so melty and kind of slippy and pigmented. Having the slimmer component helps better to manage lip lines and kind of stay nice and clean. Whereas that Milani Fetish uh, Shine, the original uh, lip color or the L'Oreal Shine or the Revlon Shine lipsticks, any of those kind of uh, high shine lipsticks, they um, could be fussy and there's also a lot of inconsistency with all three of those lines with respect to how much pigmentation you're getting in the product. I, I do think that those are really nice comparison as are the e.l.f. Sheer Slicks. Same problem with those. Some are much more pigmented than others. So just, you know, be mindful of that. The ones from M Cosmetics, I would say, are much more consistent and the pigment is really evenly distributed and all of the shades in the line are that same level of pigmentation. And this one is Van Gogh. It comes in the darker kind of tan component. And so this one is a much toastier, deeper rose color. I would say that this is sort of on the other side of Venetian Rose, where Venetian Rose is very uh, pink leaning. This is warmer leaning. And I'll just swatch it right next door. 
So you see it has a lot of rose, but there is some brown in it, which is what it's pulling like on me, more of a brown. It is really, really nice. I like also having this color. I'm a bigger fan of Mona Lisa. This is just a color I know I'll be wearing all the time. This is going to be more for an occasion. It is pretty though. And again, very cushiony and lovely. So if you do like this kind of richer, toastier rose color, this might be for you. Let me uh, wipe off half of it so that I can put on Venetian rose right next to it so you could kind of get like a bit of a comparison. So here you have it. I high put on Venetian rose on this side of my lips. And so you see it's a tad bit lighter, a tad bit more pink leaning, while this one is a tad bit more brown leaning. Sort of hard to see the color because the reflection of the lights, it is a highly reflective product. So the lights are reflecting back on it. So you, it's hard for you to see the pigment on it, but hopefully in the swatch you will see it. This is Venetian Rose, this is Van Gogh, and this is Mona Lisa. So very different. I wish that they had created for this line uh, a third lip luminizer, maybe something that sits somewhere here or even something more chocolatey and rich. I'm surprised they haven't come out with like a real beautiful chocolate, right? but maybe towards the fall, they'll do something like that. I do like how M Cosmetics is really thoughtful about releasing products so they don't overwhelm us with products. I will say I have tried the majority of products of M Cosmetics and there have been some hits or misses. By far, lip lupinizers are my favorites. The Infinite Lip Clouds are really nice too. That's the, their long wear lipstick. If you're looking for a long wear formula, they have some really interesting shades and I think you would be happy with that. Um, I also really like their sculpting bronzer and their cheek product. Those are the ones in the tubes um, that are a cream product. I've also really enjoyed their eyebrow product, which is kind of a micro fine eyebrow brush, and it does a great job in filling in your eyebrows and also holding your eyebrows all in one product. And it goes like a long way. Like I feel like I had that product for a long time and I would definitely repurchase it. So I just wanted to give you some ideas if you're looking for other products of theirs. Um, if I didn't mention something, I probably didn't mention it on purpose because I had some problem with the product. But makeup is unique to everyone and to everyone's chemistry. So there may be some other products of theirs that uh, you might really uh, mesh well. In fact, I have right here to try their day cushion. So I haven't gotten around to it yet, but their daydream cushion foundation, I've heard really great things about, and I have it right here at the ready so that when the weather gets a little warm, I'm gonna whip it out and try it because I have been wanting to try that for quite some time. So that is it. I just wanted to jump on and give you my quick swatches of these two lip products and to let you know where they fell within the line with their current shades. And uh, yeah, are you gonna pick any of these products up? If you have any questions, comments, please, please, please just comment down below. I always read my comments and I answer questions and I'm happy to do so. And if you like this video and if something struck your fancy about it, please consider subscribing. I try to, create content that you want to see and be um, as consistent as possible in my inconsistent ways. So uh, anywho, I hope everyone had a great Monday and that it was a great start to the week and we will talk soon. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.